how to grow from being broke to being rich. That's the topic of this video today. And um, just go ahead and jump right in because I see so much in social media, people constantly you know, asking so many questions to other ones who have been so successful. And I just wanted to create this um, really uh, video just because I, it is in my passion to help a lot of people to be able to do better for themselves. And I think sometimes it's just that you don't have the specific guidance or support of other people who have been there. So some of the tips I want to offer you, and hopefully it might help you, it's number one, the only way that you can stop being broke in the position that you are financially is by starting to take baby steps. And there's no way around it, okay? Um, yes, we all hope to maybe win a, a lottery ticket, or perhaps if you're hair and money, good for you. Uh, but the majority, I think we are not, that lucky. <laughs> so if we were not born in a gold crib, which is only part of 5% of all population, then we are left in another 95%. So I hate to break you the reality, but I think that is most of the true reality for the majority of people. Um, so in, because of that, we need to find ways how to be really, really smart with our money. So, and I say this in many, many years that I've been sharing my tips and my information. If you don't know who I am, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant and I do specialize in certain niches like real estate e-commerce, but also I love investing. I think that it is my passion to help people out there, not only to understand that you need to have that financial education, that you must invest, even when sometimes we're scared to do so, even when we have that fear because it's the only way that you're going to be able to come across. Here's the thing, a 401k in retirement, they're great, but it's not sufficient because there's certain things that we need to kind of take calculated risk to be able to, well, get better results. So how do we go? What's the first step list to do? I think the very, very first step, really, is to be able to understand where you are standing financially. And I think the easiest way to do this is just really, I mean, I, I, I don't know what generation you're from, um, but I know one thing is whether you want to grab a piece of paper and write it down, um, do yourself a, you know, a, a draw a line in the middle and on the left you put, hey, these are the necessities that I have and these are the things and expenses that I must have. And on the right column, you will say, these are the things that I want. So, right, so need versus want is a huge difference. And being able to really cut as much as possible the expenses, because once you're able to create that relief that you get when, doesn't it feel good when you pay off something? I know I do. And, and it, it's just, for me, it's like a, whole, a huge weight off my shoulders, right? So if you can start doing that, and like I said, there's plenty of videos and, and things that I share here in my channel to help people like you to really, like I said, my, my objection is to be able to help people. And the best part is when I see comments of things, just kind of, you know, sharing my, my, my videos with, with the world out there, that's how... I think I, I appreciate it because it helps my channel and it helps me to continue really giving free contents, right? We all have to pay bills. <laughs> so the reality is I'm rich, I'm broke. I'm not saying that you were born with that choice. What I'm saying is that we are in control many times to make a differential. And the first thing that I say, cut down on your debt, pay off, pay off, get rid of your debt as much as possible, all right? Um, that would be the first step that I would do. When you cut down your expenses, the nice thing about it is now you're going to have a little bit of more disposable income. That's right. And now that you have that disposable income, the best part of that is that now you can reinvest that money that was going to pay bills. You can reinvest it, whether it's the stock market, whether you might purchase a little bit of crypto. If you're a believer of crypto, I invest in everything, real estate, stocks, business, I do a little bit of everything because I believe very much in what it is to be diversified. Because when one asset goes up, another one goes down, and hopefully you have that 
um, you know, cushion and also the fact that you're able, right, to offset some market that might go down. OK, so I think it's really important. I know people that collect in collectibles, right? They, they do, you know, uh, uh, you know, coins and they do other certain things. Whatever it is that you're more inclined to do it, because what I think is most important is you can install it. So I always tell people, if you have a couple thousand dollars sitting down in your money market account, your savings account. Yes, do not touch your emergency. I'm not talking about that. We minimum three months to six months, I think it's a decent average uh, for the typical, you know, uh, person out there. Uh, if you can have a full year, kudos to you. I mean, that's even way better. Um, I think there's nothing more than having the safety nest of knowing that you have sufficient money to cover for your essentials, and, right? So how to do this? Let's pay down the debt, right? Um, I've given a lot of tips before where whether maybe you can find out with your credit card companies, many uh, sometimes, sometimes I say sometimes offer what they call transfers. You can do a transfer three to five percent. They charge you a one time fee and maybe they give you 12 months and then you have those 12 months to pay down those high credit cards. See what I'm saying? That is very, very important. Um, if you have a property and you have, you're planning to refinance, please be careful with that, especially when we're in a market that, you know, the equity is high and you might want to squeeze every dollar to it. Remember the equity, and this is something I want to share with you, has to do with a gift. It's a gift. Equity is not permanent. Yes, we expect that real estate is going to keep going up, which is obviously another way of investing, right? And, but be realistic that not always it grows so aggressively like it has in the last couple of years. So pay down your debt, try and make some sort of investment in real estate, okay? Even if you do it with other joint ventures, maybe you don't want to do it on your own. I totally understand it. It's a huge responsibility. Absolutely. I'm going to say the pros and the cons. I've done a few. So I know what I'm talking about. So I've been there and I know in all my uh, investments, I was all by myself to do this, okay? Yes, I had certain people in the background helping me or at least what I would consider, you know, consulting me and giving me their expertise to, to help me. But technically I had to run almost all the operations to make sure that things would get done um, the way they needed to be done to be able to rehab some of these properties I didn't want also fix and flip. So I've been exposed to quite a few situations. And if real estate is not for you, you're going to say, listen, I really don't want it. I, I just something that I just don't want to touch. Like I said, even if I do an joint venture, I just don't want to deal with it. Then go into the stock market. Absolutely. Stock market is going to give you the opportunity to also invest in the real estate through what the core REITs, uh, real estate investment trade funds. Okay. That's another possibility, and they pay very nice dividends, by the way. Some of those can pay from 5% all the way to 12%. That's right. So that's another way. Or maybe you want to do an exchange trade fund where you're able to use some of that money into a multiple, right? Because the ETF, as you know, it has multiple stocks in it, so you have a little more. It's diversified, right? Um, that would be another option. So you have right now, you know, I-bonds. Uh, they're paying very high interest right now uh, on, on your money. So there's a different way. Stock market, their real estate, you have bonds to be able, um, you know, you can have, like I said, collectibles or you can have even gold and silver. Absolutely. I believe that. That's the oldest asset, you know, in, in the world. And it still exists for a reason. So crypto, you like crypto? Good for you. Maybe that's another venue that you want to, Whatever it is, it's it's investing your money. That's the most important thing. I see people going paycheck by paycheck and say, I'm broke, I'm broke. I don't know how to get out of it. There's things that you have to do and it starts here in your mind, in your mindset. When you say to yourself, enough is enough and I have to make a change. Until that doesn't click in your mind, it's very difficult. You're going to make the necessary steps to move forward. So again, I've given you a few tips of places and things that you can do now it's up to you to do that, okay? And if this is not all this, is that I have one last resource. And that means, hey, you can start a little gig on the side. You can start a new, you know, small business on the side. Whatever it is that you do, maybe you do consulting uh, for another company. That's something that you can do perhaps in the days that you're off. 
whatever it is to create the extra revenue that you're going to have. Because remember, the rich get richer because of that, because they're using the money that they work in the past and they reinvested in all these different vehicles where they're pro providing them a passive income. And on top of that, they're getting all these tax breaks or loopholes as we know them, okay? So again, I really want everyone out there to be able to take the baby steps, but keep going because I do believe that when you're proactive, you will see results in your life. And I hope, again, this has helped you. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. It allows me to continue giving free content. And uh, and if you have any other topics that you'd like me to share, by all means, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm always open ears. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of other videos. Um, but most importantly, what I want you to know is I'd like you to go ahead and really get the proper financial education. That's the most important thing, financial education. Um, we need to invest the time and we need to invest money also into that. But once you feel confident, once you feel sure, don't wanna do it solo, I don't blame you. Go and get yourself a good group coaching, something that's gonna be feasible for you to you know, invest, but something that you're gonna be able, it doesn't mean that because you watch a few YouTube videos or read a few books, or whatever it is that you do and listen to podcasts means that you have to pull the trigger. Take your time. Take your time. The most important thing is getting to the right investment and to be consistent. That's my final advice. Anyhow, I hope this has helped and I will be seeing you hopefully on the next video. Bye-bye.